Hi, I'm Mary Richardson. Welcome to my channel. I have been gone for a little while. I haven't posted anything for probably a week and I'm sorry for that. I just didn't want to post videos that that maybe I didn't spend enough time on. So I thought, well, I'll just wait, get really good content and uh, post when I'm ready. So I'm back. Um, to that end, I will only be posting these videos three times a week, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. That way, and of course, I may do extra uh, videos in addition to that. So it's not to say I won't be online, but I wanted to um, have the expectation be realistic <laughs> because I often take on way too much and then get stressed and think, why did I do that? Even though I want to do this, I love doing this. So welcome to my channel. This channel is all about you and your abundance. I am a psychic medium and I channel spirit and their messages straight to you. So, um, okay, so spirit is kind of bringing me a picture of um, lack of perfection, right? So are you ever hung up on things where you don't do them because you don't think you can do them perfectly. Well, that's kind of what I got into this past week is I thought, well, I don't know enough about hashtags and how do I market this? How do I, you know, reach more people? How do I, how do I, how do I? And I realized that um, probably over and over and over again, it's like a lesson I keep learning is that um, it's never going to be perfect. So whether I have the right description or I have the right, um, you know, marketing words or whatever, it's still going to be me to you. So from my heart to yours, what I can say is that I'm just going to always do my best. And I hope that this reaches as many people as possible so that you can get messages from spirit. Um, of course, I am wanting to do readings and fill up my diary, um, as the British say, <laughs> uh, you know, have fully booked sessions, but really the message is more important to me. So if I reach one person and this resonates with you, that the message that spirit gave me that I channeled, if it helps one person, that's actually really, really good rather than reaching a million people who couldn't care less. So I guess I'm not trying to justify, you know, <laughs> my lack of marketing skills, but at some point I just got to go forward and keep posting these videos um, and I figure if I do them three days a week, then I'm still helping people. And um, what I would like to do, I plan on doing, is sitting down and channeling a full message for each video. And as I read the message, usually spirit comes through and brings me more detail as well. All right, so this message is about abundance, of course. And I was asking spirit, you know, what, what can I bring? Give me a message, please, that is um, more in depth. So what popped into my head, Spirit gave me um, a download, five ways, and I'm just reading this off of what I, um, um, what I wrote, and it's called um, Automatic Writing. And if you're interested in that, um, we can all do it. It's essentially Spirit just kind of moving my hand and, and I'm trying to keep up. So the writing is, <laughs> I may struggle to read my own writing. Here it is. Five ways to be more abundance, more abundant. Number one, gratitude. Number two, forgiveness. Number three, oh, with forgiveness, Spirit said, forgiveness always denotes a sense of letting go, freeing up the mind to more goodness. Number four, I'm sorry, number three, love. Number four, willingness to evolve. Meaning when we evolve, we move forward. So willingness to move forward. All right, so let me stop here on that. Have you ever met someone that constantly complains but doesn't want to move forward? It's because of fear and shame, perhaps. Um, and it keeps them in that loop. So part of being abundant is the ability, the willingness to evolve. So even though we still might feel fear, like I don't know anybody who doesn't feel fear, right? Do you? 
we all fear fear feel fear so i think those that are at the top of their their craft um feel the fear and they just do it anyway they just keep going and just kind of keep fear in that little uh, keep that energy just a way out of their mind so it still is probably there but they're just not focusing on the fear and the shame so number four is a willingness to evolve and in my mind spirit is highlighting that as um, being really special that that is okay so spirit is saying that is where a lot of people get hung up trapped and stuck Number five, kindness, especially when you're having a challenging day. And that makes sense because if, you're, if I'm having a challenging day and let's say I have to make a phone call or make an appointment and let's say I can't, um, maybe I can't get in to, I don't know what appointment it is, a dentist, perhaps if I can't get in, when I need to get in, or um, if I feel like, you know, they're just, maybe I'm just having a bad day and I just want things to go right and they're just not going right. Um, classic is I went to a dentist, little side note, so this is just me now. Um, and I'm trying to bring more like reality to these videos of what's really going on in my life so that, um, it gives us all, I think, a better, um, it's like my story, just like you have your story. And it gives us a sense of um, everything's not perfect, everything doesn't go well, and how do we handle it in the meantime? Because I think as, as spiritual beings that are having a human experience, that's important to know that others don't have this perfect life that we in our mind make it make it seem like they do so i uh, had this dentist appointment uh went in uh, it's been probably a year since i had my teeth cleaned because i moved to a different state it wasn't up top on my priority list so flash forward a year later you know here i am i need my teeth cleaned and dentist the first dentist i went to it was doom and gloom. It was, oh my gosh, you've had, you know, some bone loss. Oh my gosh, we're going to have to do a deep cleaning. Oh my gosh, it's your self-pay. Um, then they took me into this room like I was buying a car, like where you have to go see like the, the finance manager, right? And um, they took me into a private room with the uh, office manager and we discussed charges you know the charges for this super deep in-depth cleaning and I felt like like a child like at the principal's office or something um, and she you know was trying to like sell me right like have you ever had somebody try to um, like for you know, like form an artificial connection with you like um, I was listening to something on my phone about Shark Week and the lady said, oh yeah, my daughter loves Shark Week and oh, this and so, and I, I had just, you know, I was kind of annoyed because I had been waiting a while to get in, like they did x-rays and then I had to wait a while to see this lady and I'm like, why am I here? I just want to get my teeth cleaned and now she wants to talk about Shark Week, which I'm like, can we just get going on this? And um, and I know, like, you know, when somebody cares about you, right? You know, when somebody's really trying to befriend you and be kind, and that wasn't the situation at all. It was kind of like, oh, hey, I found something I could talk to you about that might make it seem like I'm your friend, right? So I can charge you and you can whip out your, your debit card and pay, right? So I was kind of annoyed because I knew all this was kind of going on. It was kind of artificial and it was artificial. And so I'm sitting there and I said, you know, I'm kind of a bottom line kind of person. Can you just tell me how much it will cost? And so, and I knew I was like braced for anything and I knew it was going to be a lot. And so get this, the charges that they were going, they wanted to charge me for the super deep cleaning 
dental cleaning was like nine hundred and dollars like nine hundred and sixty dollars or something and then come back in four months and then it would be another two hundred or three hundred I'm like what because I've never paid that in my life for a cleaning so I'm like the lady said well I can print this out I'm like yes please do so I took the print out and I left and but I the whole time I wanted to be doing this video so I could like share it with somebody because this is like blowing my mind like are you kidding me all right, so I go home. So long story short, I think a number five on the five ways to be more abundant is kindness when you're having a challenging day. And that was definitely a challenging day because I had hoped that I could get my teeth clean the same day. We could have x-rays, treatment plan, and get a cleaning the same day. That was my hope that they could get me in to do that. And it turned out to be like completely off the rails, not going well. So I go home and I Googled dental insurance. I found a company. I bought dental insurance for like, you know, really reasonable per month, like really, like, like really reasonable per month. Right. So I bought it. I looked up dentists. Um, so kind of traumatized by that. <laughs> and then I kind of wasn't feeling well anyway. So, uh, all right. So I'm speeding forward now. Um, Two weeks later, I get into a different dentist, one that I had driven by many times. And um, as you know me, that whenever something, um, spirit wants to make something known to me, they like, I don't even know how to say it. They will, it's almost like they take like a virtual highlighter and like highlight it and pop it out in bright lights at me so many times i had been in this city in tennessee and drive driven by this really nice area and this dental um sign would always just kind of pop out at me and i knew it was like spirit like saying like giving me a message right so i always i kept that in the back of my mind so that's the place i called two weeks later i go in um complete opposite experience so nice um, had a huge cup of water. They're like, you look hot. Here's a huge cup of water. And I was late. I was like 30 minutes late because I just got the time. I, I thought it was at one thirty. It was at one, I don't know, or I thought it was at two. So I left at one and that was when my appointment was. So long story short, fast forward, everything went great at the dentist. They not only did x-rays, treatment plan, and clean my teeth the same day, but so nice and um, very little out of pocket. My insurance covered a majority of it, my new insurance, which I just got two weeks ago. So, all right, so all of that is an example of um, okay, so leading a guided life. So, my question for you is are you leading a guided life? Um, the first dentist I went to was kind of like me just kind of pushing my way forward. I need a cleaning. I'm going to pick a dentist. I'm going to go. And it didn't turn out very well. The second one was more like a guided, a guided experience where um, I took more time. I thought about, okay, so guide me. What do I need to do? Um, So from the first experience to the second experience, what I did in between is I got some great mouthwash. Um, I got a deep, uh, a better toothpaste, which who knew there was toothpaste that can actually deep clean the gums. I didn't know that. I went to Walmart and it, and I got a better toothpaste, mouth, better mouthwash that was specifically for rebuilding the enamel. So two weeks later, of course, I had my dental uh, visit with a new dentist and my teeth good news like my gums were better and everything so all this is like an example of taking the time to lead a guided have a guided experience rather than pushing my way through that just because it's on my to-do list you know to-do list and i want to check it off that having a guided experience makes it so much better with a much better result and gets me further faster 
even though it feels like it's taking more time. So that's my, that's what all this, that whole story was all about. Lead, I encourage you to connect with your guides, take the time to hear where they're guiding you, even though it feels like it's taking longer than just picking up the phone and finding a new dentist. Listen to them, let them guide you step by step and you will get further faster and have a much better journey. So that's what I thought I'd share that with you. All right, so back to the list. Five ways to be more abundant. Um, okay, num number five, kindness when you're having a challenging day. So manifesting is not complicated. It is easy, simple. You get huge. Oh, I'm sorry. You get hung up on expectation and time. You want to know when and how. Sometimes you question why you should have it, even though it is you who asked to be given it. When and how are out of your control. Let's establish that straight away. That is the co-creative process. That is the universe's part of co-creating. You ask for what you want and the universe works and works is in print, it works is in quotes and the universe works on the when and how. This is where you get stuck because you didn't know until now that how and when equal expectation. An expectation deters manifestation every time. End of message. So if you take anything away from this video, when you want something, know that the when and the how is the universe's part. That's what the universe takes care of. You don't have to figure out the when and how. So we are co-creating this human experience with the universe or source or God, however you want to refer to your higher power. The when and how are the universe's contribution. So stop muscling your way through everything. I know everybody that's listening to this will take something from this that in some way, in somebody's life, in your life or your observing other people or probably in your own life if you're like me you're trying to muscle your way through something and stop doing that turn over the when and the how to the universe because that equals expectation and whenever we have expectations that's when we're sure not to get what we want so thanks for listening kind of a long video but i know you will get a lot out of this if you haven't already, please click like and subscribe and the bell button so you'll be notified as soon as I upload new videos. Have a great day. Be kind. Be happy. Uh, look for me on Instagram. I'm on there under Medium Mary, Medium Mary K. Richardson. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.